Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and I just wanted to make this video to talk about how to learn WordPress and what I did myself. So let's dive into that now. So the first one that I wanted to cover here is very obvious and it's video tutorials. You're watching this on YouTube, so I'm sure you're already aware of this. So I'm just gonna cover this briefly. When I started WordPress, it was around 2009 when I first started out, at least dabbling with it. I didn't really get into it too much until like 2011 or so after I got out of the military in 2010. And during that time, I was able to start learning WordPress, but what I had to do was learn it through a lot of trial and error. There wasn't really many great WordPress tutorials out there online at that time. And now there just are so many. If you were to type in WordPress tutorial or how to make a website or something like that, you're gonna see lots of different videos come up. And in the past, it just wasn't like that. Hopefully you see my videos coming up there, but either way, there are a lot of great tutorials here on YouTube that you can take advantage of to learn about WordPress. Now this is one that I wanted to point out that I created a while ago. It's WordPress dashboard tutorial series. And this is for basically 5.0 and higher for the WordPress updates. And this goes through each of the WordPress dashboard tabs on the left side within the dashboard itself. So it's a great way to start to learn about the dashboard and learn your way around WordPress and how to make some changes. I'm not going to say it's an advanced course, but it can definitely take a lot of people from feeling like a beginner to at least intermediate within the WordPress dashboard itself. And I go through a lot of different things in here. If you have the time, I recommend checking it out. I broke each of them down into shorter videos, but in total, it's a little over an hour and a half long. And I think it can just significantly reduce your learning curve if you're first learning WordPress and want to learn and understand the dashboard a bit better. So another thing that I wanted to talk about is builders. And we have builders like this one, Elegant Themes, with the Divi Builder, for example, and then Elementor over here. And there is documentation for each of these where you can learn, and there's also support. So if you look down here, there's live chat support on here. And Elementor, there's docs about all different things, getting started, installation, it goes through the features, widgets, the licensing, everything, tips and tricks down here. And you can also search the knowledge base as well. And over here, there's tech support, there's actually even a forum within here, and there's Facebook groups for both of these, Elementor and for Divi or Elegant Themes. So there's a lot going on in terms of knowledge that you can take advantage of within the knowledge spaces or the support areas on these websites. I really think that a builder is a great way to start too. In fact, I would recommend that you try to master a builder and get really familiar with it because then you can build websites very quickly. And that's what I would recommend these days. In the past, it wasn't that easy. You had to either try to do things from scratch or basically use a theme, like maybe one from Theme Forest. And a lot of times you were just kind of left on your own to try to figure things out or customize things. Now with these builders, it's so much easier to customize things than it used to be. So I would recommend that you take advantage of these knowledge and support areas when you're learning WordPress or trying to learn WordPress for the first time as well. So another thing I wanted to talk about is when I was first starting out, there was no way for me to really improve quickly. So what I used to do myself is I used to go through and try to figure something out and I would exhaust all my options and try different things, try to figure out it like it was a puzzle or a riddle or something that I couldn't figure out when I'm trying to figure out how to make what I want happen within a WordPress site. Sometimes I was building sites for clients too, so there was deadlines involved. And what I would do is I would give myself a week and if I could not figure it out, I'd go over to a site like Fiverr or somewhere else and I'd either hire a freelancer or I'd hire someone off of a place like Fiverr. And then I would ask them to not just do it for me and make a WordPress fix. So if we type WordPress fix in here, I guarantee there's going to be things that come up. But I wouldn't ask them to just fix the issue for me. I would ask them to explain to me how to fix the problem so I wouldn't keep running into it again and again. And some people wouldn't want to do that. They would say, I don't want to explain to you, uh, whatever. I would only start working with people that would explain it to me. And they ended up getting a lot of business off me because I didn't know what I was doing when I was starting out. And there was a lot of problems I would run into. And over time, I probably spent at least a couple hundred bucks in total trying to figure out and getting problems resolved by other people who are a lot further along within WordPress than I was. So I was able to learn by basically 
paying for it, but I really only paid a fraction of what it ended up making me. I was making so much more money off of the websites that I was selling than I was paying people to learn the skills and learn WordPress knowledge as I went along. So you can see on here, I'm going to have a link in the description below, but here are a lot of people that are offering WordPress fixes. And it used to be that you could always get them for like five bucks. So this guy right here is five bucks for an example. And there are a lot of great people on here. I would highly recommend that you check out the link below if this is something that you think you could benefit from. And maybe you can find someone that's kind enough to explain to you what the issue is and how to fix it instead of just fixing it for you. Because I think once you pay for it, you're going to retain that knowledge of how it was. And you can also go back into your account and look at your previous orders and see what it was if you need to refer to it at a later date and see how they fix the issue at that time. So it's totally worth doing in my opinion, and it will probably pay for itself if you start using WordPress a lot, making client websites, maybe even making your own website, it could probably pay for itself pretty quickly. And it's a great way to learn WordPress and retain things that you're learning in my opinion. So there are probably so many other resources out there like blogs and other things like that, but I just wanted to at least point out how I learned WordPress and what really worked for me and that there's always going to be these resources out here that you can take advantage of and improve for yourself. So I hope this video was helpful. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more WordPress related content. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.